Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air Hi everyone, we're here today to talk about plot and setting We know these are terms that most of you are familiar with But we want to review them quickly so that you can apply your knowledge to our reading of The Outsiders Yeah, so let's start with plot Plot is the sequence or order of events in a story most plots include five parts, or stages, which we'll go over now. A plot usually begins with the exposition, which introduces the story's main characters and setting. The exposition usually isn't very exciting because there's not a lot of action. However, it's an essential part of the plot because it sets the reader up with an understanding of the characters and setting. The second stage of plot is the rising action. The rising action adds complexity to the story's conflicts or problems. It's where the characters start to face dilemmas they'll need to overcome. The rising action is usually the longest part of any story because it takes a while to build up the action. The rising action builds up to our third stage of plot, the climax. This is the point of greatest interest or suspense. It's usually the part where you also can't put your book down because it's so exciting and you can't wait to see how things will turn out. After the climax is the falling action. This is where the characters deal with the aftermath of the climax. The falling action shows the result of the climax and starts to bring the story to a close. And our final stage in plot is the resolution, where the author presents the story's final outcome. This is where you find out what happens to the characters. Do they actually live happily ever after? I hope so. Me too. <laughs> So now let's move on to setting. Setting is the time and place in which the events of a story occur. The setting includes any elements in which the action occurs. The historical period, geographic region, season, weather, and spaces like rooms and landscapes. The culture of the characters is also part of the setting. Setting is important because it often helps create atmosphere or mood. For example, a scary story might be set in a dark and dreary mansion at nighttime to add to the feeling of suspense. <laughs> As we read The Outsiders, let's take a close look at the plot and setting so we gain a deeper understanding of these concepts. Looked at my kingdom, I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of LA.